The secret to goalie confidence is actually a very simple two-step formula. Step number one is hard work, and step number two is consistent small wins. Let's break this down a little bit further and find out how you can go about getting goalie confidence for yourself. Step one is actually pretty simple. It is the opposite of the fake it until you make it philosophy. So what it means is actually putting in the work and doing the preparation required to feel confident before that big game or tryout that you have coming up. So rather than trying to fake it and using shortcuts, this step is about putting in the work at practice, making sure your nutrition and sleep are dialed in, doing your off-ice workouts. And so what happens is if you stay consistent with this, if you're working hard, you know deep down that you've put in the, the preparation and the work required to be confident, and then you can actually feel confident. You don't have to fake it. You can actually be confident because you know you put in the work. If you had an exam coming up and you knew you hadn't studied, you hadn't done the homework, you hadn't been paying attention in class all week, you'd be nervous for that exam and you wouldn't be confident. On the other hand, if it was a class where you were going in to every class, asking questions, getting extra help, doing the homework, when the time for that big test comes, you're absolutely confident. You have no choice to be anything but confident because you know you put in the work and you're not going to be nervous because you know you've done what you need to do to be prepared. It's the same thing for hockey. If you've been working at practice, you've done everything you need to do, you've studied, you've watched video, you've been taking care of yourself off the ice, you know you're prepared for that game and you don't need to fake it. You don't need to try shortcuts or tricks. You're going to be confident when it comes time to step on the ice. Step number two is about small, consistent wins. So what that means is piling up accomplishments every chance you can, which serve as a reminder that you can be successful, that you're a winner, that you've won in the past. It's also helpful to look back at previous times you've succeeded or won. So it could be doing really well in school, getting a shutout, winning a tournament, making a team, anything like that. But at the same time, you should also be creating new challenges, new competitions that you have a chance to win on a regular basis. So this could take the form of uh, a shootout in practice, um, trying to beat your personal best in the gym or, or when you go for a run, just putting in competition into your daily life, something where you have to push a little bit, but you can win and feel accomplished after. So it's like a domino effect where you keep winning, you keep feeling good. The more you win, the better you feel and the more you win. So you wanna do that. You wanna have competition in your life regularly. It doesn't really matter what it is, as long as it's something where you can challenge yourself, compete and win. And so these wins serve as reminders that you can win, that you're a, that you're a winner and you pile them up and you start to build confidence that way. A perfect example of step one, hard work and step two wins and accomplishments is Andre Vasilevsky. So if you read up on Andre Vasilevsky, you'll see that he's got an incredible work ethic. Even when he came into the league, he had a consistent stretching routine. He got to the rink early. He was working out, working hard in practice. So he put in the work necessary, but not only that, now in his career, he can look back and say he's won Stanley Cups, he's won other individual trophies, he's had a lot of success. So going into a big game, Vasilevsky has that confidence because one, he's been working very, very hard at this position for his whole life. And two, he has the wins and the accomplishments to back that up. So he can go into a playoff game, a Stanley Cup final game, whatever it is, and he's going to be confident because he has no reason to be anything but confident. He's put in the work, he knows that he's won at this level and at previous levels, he knows what he's capable of and he's ready for the game. Having confidence in net is not that hard. It's a pretty simple formula. You just have to go and do it. You have to make sure that you're working hard. You have to make sure that you're not slacking off in practice and that you've dialed in all the important things off the ice, that you're working out and eating right and sleeping. And you're doing that consistently over a period of time. And then the other thing is you have to both get these wins and these accomplishments, even if they're small on a regular basis, and also remember them, maybe write them down, maybe before you have a big game coming up, you write down times you've won big games in the past, different things you're proud of, because you have to remind yourself that you're a winner and you're capable. And all of us, no matter who we are, we have these accomplishments, we have things to be proud of, and we should use those to give us confidence and, and make us feel better about ourselves before we have that big performance. The secret to goalie confidence you know what it is, you can do it, it's achievable for everybody. It's just a matter of putting in the work and being consistent with it. I hope you found this video helpful. 
It'd be great if you subscribed to the channel and checked out our links on Instagram, TikTok, and the goalie programs we have available. And we'll be sure to keep posting more videos.